The life of Aang in one minute. Water, earth, fire, air. Only the Avatar, you know the rest. Aang's an air nomad and he's really good at it, but the world is about to have a war, so the other nomads are like, you're the Avatar, go uproot your life and train, you damn kid. Aang's like, no. He flies away on his flying bison bus, crashes into the ocean, and freezes himself. A hundred years later, two water tribe kids thaw him out. Aang's like, let's go on a road trip, but the kids, Katara and Sokka, are like, you know there's been a war going on for like a hundred years, but oh, right, I guess you don't. They fly out to the air temple and Aang discovers that everyone he knows has been genocided, and then he learns that the evil fire guy is going to kill everyone and take over the world with an assist from space. The gang picks up a blind goblin to teach him earth bending. He learns all four elements so he can kick some Fire Nation ass while making many friends along the way. Even Zuko here. He also died, but he got better. And then at the one yard line, Aang's like, actually, I'm going to not kill him. I'll just take his bending away. The Lion Turtle said it was okay. After he does that, Aang and Katara get married, have three kids, and Aang ends up being a neglectful dad to them, except Tenzin since he's an airbender, but also kind of Tenzin because being the Avatar is a lot of work. And then Aang avatar so hard he died youngish, weakened by his time spent in the iceberg. Aang was then reincarnated into some other girl that he haunted later or something.